and I'm gonna show you how to clone yourself in Adobe Premiere Pro to help you go viral on Instagram. Isn't that right, man? It's a lot easier than you think. Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So step number one, you have to film two separate clips. You gotta film essentially your A clip and then a B clip. The A clip is gonna be the one of me speaking and then B clip is gonna introduce the masking. So you'll notice we have our A clip and our B clip right here. So the first thing you wanna do is go to the opacity section. In that opacity section, you have several options, but you're, we're gonna go ahead and select the free draw, AKA the pin tool. So we'll go ahead and select it. And we're basically gonna make an outline of our character Now you don't necessarily have to make an outline all the time. But in this clip, I actually move a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic. So I wanna make sure that I capture some of that movement too. I always like to go ahead and personally zoom in just to make things a little bit easier. And I always start at the very first frame. So basically we're just gonna go ahead and start tracing our subject. So as you can see, we're about to complete our masking. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie all this in together. You'll notice that I pop back up. However though, let's go ahead and play this. So that looks pretty bad. So let's go ahead and fix it. So you want to come back to your opacity panel. You want to go ahead and make sure that you select your mask and you're going to hit this little play button right here. It's actually going to go ahead and mask every frame for you with the movement of your subject included. Okay, now let's go ahead and hit play again. Definitely a lot better, but it could still use a little bit of work because it looks a little wonky. So here's how you can make some minor adjustments to make it look a little bit better. The first thing is going to be to do a feather on it. Let's go ahead and try around 40%. Just kind of gives it like a little bit of a softer look. Let's see how that checks out. Definitely a little bit better, but it's still revealing some like glowing around the edges. So maybe we need to lower that. Another thing we can do to make it look a little bit better is to add a mask expansion. So if you were to go to the right, it's going to start expanding that mask outwards. And I want to go ahead and do it inwards. So let's try something like negative 10 and it kind of gets rid of that glow. I like that. So here in our last clip, this one was actually a lot easier to do. Now, if I were to highlight that, you can see the mask path that I have created. And as I keep going through the rest of the clip, it doesn't change. So there was no need essentially for tracking. There was no crazy special movements where I was overlapping against each other. So this is a result that we came up with in just a few minutes. Yeah, I can definitely do that photo shoot for you, but I'm going to need to get paid for my work though. Well, we can't pay you, but we can get you exposure and that'll turn into leads. They don't know I know this hack. And that's pretty much how you clone yourself. If you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video if this was super helpful. And as always, stay creative, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.